It's a daily ritual, as it's been for over a hundred years. Amid this rural landscape of the Derbyshire Dales, cows line up for milking at the Hartington Creamery. It's the first step in a traditional cheesemaking process, the 200-strong herd providing the vital ingredient to create a hand-crafted blue cheese, carefully matured and graded before it reaches the table. Until Brexit, EU consumers enjoyed a slice of this too. But now that trading relationship is off. Since Brexit, we have had zero access to that same EU consumer market. And that is purely because we no longer have um, a, a, an equal balance fair trade situation in place. The company says the cost of new export certificates required to ship cheeses to the EU makes the process unviable. This is one of the oldest traditional makers of Stilton in the country. And like many cheese companies, it's really suffered with the changes post-Brexit. But now it's a question of adapting to survive. That means selling to the US and Canada instead, and closer to home. What has actually happened is that there has been a renaissance in looking towards all British producers recently. And I think people are actually realising that the best cheese in the world was always on their doorstep. And so the domestic market for British made cheese is growing. UK cheese exports to the EU fell by 85% in January this year. Cheese imports from Europe were also down by a third. And that means British consumers are choosing more locally made products. Sales of this organic soft cheese from the Nettlebed Creamery in Oxfordshire have surged. The three main reasons would be Brexit and the difficulty of importing continental artisan cheeses, um, another lockdown which has increased footfall to small producers like us from our local population and thirdly is I think an emerging trend of people really developing a greater appreciation of locally sourced small businesses like ourselves where the provenance is absolutely guaranteed. The company is now expanding, setting up a new store and takeaway cafe. A lockdown collection service is already popular with locals. We're a farmhouse, which means we use milk from our own farm. We're artisan, which means we do everything by hand. We have very few machines in the creamery. And what we have found is that since the first lockdown this time last year, there's been a huge increase in people appreciating the kind of business that we are. The government says other factors like the pandemic contributed to low food exports to the EU in January and things will improve but UK cheesemakers are already wrapping up the domestic market. And with little prospect of change to those new regulations, British cheeses may well end up staying with local consumers. Kitty Logan, CDTN, Derbyshire.